Hello there, this is Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky, and today we're looking at the iPad version of Affinity Designer 2. And this is what we're going to end up with. This is um, putting text onto a path, and it's pretty simple, but a little bit more difficult on the iPad than it is on the Mac. So let's get into it. So let's delete all of the stuff we have here and start from scratch. So we're going to get the ellipse tool, first of all, and we're going to draw that out into a circle. Let's uh, not put a nice big circle in there. Okay, get the move tool, put this in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the colour of that to put no colour in the centre of it and just have a line there. Just so we can see that we've got some sort of line there. And then we're going to get some text. Let's get the text tool and we're going to put the text here. That text is a bit big at the moment. Let's change the size of the text to something a bit more reasonable. 72 maybe. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so what's happening here is that I have some settings left over from a previous bit of work I was working on, and it's all over the place. We've got the text too far away from the circle and too big as well, so I have to go back in there and make some changes so that we can start working on this right from the beginning with some basic settings. Let's go to positioning, and this baseline is incorrect at the present time, so let's put the baseline back at zero. Okay, now we're talking. So let's get that text added into the circle there, ready to use. Okay then, so this is looking good. Let's take the text size down just a little bit and change the size, that's the character, and change this to 64. Let's have a look at this, see what we can do with this. When we've got the text tool selected, we've got some green triangles and some red triangles. And we want to start with the inside ones, I think. And we want to see if we can get this Mary to the top here. So let's uh, bring this round. It's on the inside now. On the Mac, you've got something which will do a reverse direction of this here. Let's go to this here again. Okay, so we're getting on the outside there now, look. Okay, so now we've got the text all on the outside. And there's a bit missing there. There is a little red icon which pops up, like an eye sort of shape, and if you click it, it will either hide or display the text that is missing. So if you want all of the text showing, you do have to get rid of that eye icon, and you'll know everything is correct with the positioning of the text. So let's bring this around here. And I want to have the... Uh, Mary had a lamb at the top. It's a little bit more difficult to work this out on the um, iPad than it is on the Mac. Okay, so we've got that at the top there. Okay, so let's put that in the centre there. And that was the that's on the inside there, so we need to get this one now and bring this round and put that on the centre. And then what we need to do is to go to the ones that are on the outside. I want from its fleece as white snow onto the other side there. So so I did a lot of twiddling and fiddling with these red and green triangles to try and get the text to go where I wanted it to go with some of it at the top and some of it at the bottom, but it just wasn't happening. This is just a real pain in the rear end, this is. So I'm getting it split up, but um, they're not in the places where I want it to be. Which is why, when you want to do this on the iPad, I reckon that the best way to do it is to do it with two separate circles with two separate bits of text. So let's do that instead, because this is getting us nowhere. So after five minutes or more trying to get this to go the way I wanted to go, it just wasn't happening. So I decided that the best thing to do was to start again and to do it with two separate circles. One circle for the text at the top and another circle for the text at the bottom. So let's get back to basics and start it again. OK, so where we are, back at the start again. Let's get the text tool. And I'm going to put that there. I'm going to do Command V. And we've got Mary had a little lamb. It's fleece. Let's get rid of that. It's fleece because I want that to be at the bottom there. So now I can jump in with these red and green triangles to position the text exactly where I want it and to have it on the outside of the circle. Okay, so I'm going to put that there so it's at the centre. Now that's just uh, spot on. That's what we want. So that's the first one. And maybe I can make the text a bit bigger as well. So let's uh, take that. Go to the uh, text one here and I'm going to change this to make it bigger 
So there's a little plus icon to the right where it says 64px and if I press that a few times I can change it up to 73 or maybe bring it back down again and put it exactly the size that I want it. So in the text panel to the right hand side where it says bold, italic, underline and strike through there's a little arrow click on that there and then we can go through to the next bit where it says open type and we can change it to all caps that's good perfect marvelous that's what we like so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a copy of that so let's do command and j so there's my copy look and i'm going to select all that text so back to our red and green triangles again and move them around that one wasn't doing it so let's try one of the other ones and this time we're going to get it moving around and that's good it's coming down to the bottom of the circle and things are going the right direction lovely i like it i like it when a plant comes together we'll put the red triangle on the right side to just above the center and then we'll get this one here and move it so it's about the same height as the other one so we get them just about the same make sure that this says on center line it is that's good so we got the text more or less in the right place the only thing is it's on the inside of the circle and we need to put it on the outside of the circle so that it's at the same sort of diameter and everything as the Mary had a little lamp at the top and in positioning we're going to change the baseline you can move it by tapping on this minus sign over here or you can tap on the number itself and we can move it out and we want to move it out uh, see it's uh, minus 34 now for some weird reason it wouldn't let me put in the minus 64 I wanted in there it would only let me put in the minus and then six and then it would jump out of it so in the end i found that the best way to do it was to just stick it at the minus 12 and then just tap a whole pile of times on the minus sign next to it on the left tap 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 here we go okay that's cool so now we've got the text as we required it with mary had a little lamb at the top and it's places white snow at the bottom and we did that two circles and just by moving this text at the bottom it's placed white as snow down with moving the baseline so we'll finish in the design off by putting a circle into the middle of that and giving it a stroke and then we're going to do a copy of it with command j and then we're going to bring that out using the shift and the command key to make sure that it's on the outside and perfectly lined up so there we go that's the design more or less done and dusted let's go as you can see it is possible to get the text at the top and at the bottom you just got to do a bit of movement of the baseline there it's so much easier doing it with two circles than it is with trying to do it with one on the mac i can do it with one but on this here on the ipad it's just a bit difficult because you don't have all the controls that you have on the mac on the mac there's a thing where you can tell it to change direction and when it changes the direction it will put it sort of more or less where you want it to be so this is just to show you that it can do it just with one circle and the text top and bottom and getting it just so that it uh, goes in the right places and that thing i was saying about the uh, button to reverse text path that's what that does and it's a bit easier to work with so there you go i'm dave allen i'm good and geeky and you can be geeky too just subscribe to the channel and get more of these geeky tutorials and why don't you put a like onto the video as well. In fact, leave a comment and tell me what you'd like me to make the next video about. Go for it.